Okay guys, so today is going to be testing whether the Physician's Formula Brow Last Brow Gel is a dupe for the Wonder Brow Brow Gel. And I hauled this in my recent Ulta haul and it applied and wore a lot like the Wonder Brow, so I wanted to test them side by side to see if they are actually dupes or if I was just wanting it to be. So I'm going to apply both of these, one on each brow, on camera, and see if they apply the same, see if they wear the same, and so on. And we'll see if they're dupes. Okay, the first major difference in these is that the Physicist's Formula already has a spoolie on it, and the Wonder Brow does not. And you need a spoolie for both of these products, I would say, to brush them through and make it not look chunky in your brows. So you would have to have an extra spoolie to use this one, whereas this one already comes with one. So already one point for Physician's Formula. And here is the brush for the Wonder Brow. And then the brush for the Physician's Formula has more of an angle to it. And there's them next to each other. They're pretty similar, but yeah, just the Physician's Formula one has more of an angle and the Wonder Brow is more round. They're both the same thickness though. And I will swatch the colors of them. Here's the Wonder Brow and here is the Physician's Formula. So the Wonder Brow is in the shade Brunette and the Physician's Formula is in the shade Light Brown. The Wonder Brow is definitely more cool toned I would say, but they're pretty close in color. Okay, I'm going to apply the Wonder Brow on this brow first. And I usually apply the Wonder Brow just to make it easier with a angled brow brush, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to apply it straight with this brush. You can do it this way, but it's not as precise, and if you're not careful, it can goop your brows together, so you have to start off light and build it up. Okay, so you just want to start off probably towards the middle of the brow, not goop it all towards the front and just put it in very, very lightly. And I would say this is definitely just a product for if you already have brows and want to fill them in. And then as your brush gets less and less product on it, then slowly drag it towards the front of the brow. And then if you leave it like that, it just tends to look pretty goopy, so always take a spoolie and just brush it through. And put your brow hairs the way that you want them because once this sets, they are not going anywhere. And this can also help brush the color through to make it look more even. And this can get pretty messy looking when you're spooling it through because it just like pushes the color everywhere. So I would either do your brows before your foundation or just clean them up with concealer. So I'm just going to clean these up with a little bit of concealer and then we'll move on to the other brow. Okay, and now we're going to do the Physician's Formula side. We're just going to take the spoolie it comes with and brush the brows. 
and just apply it the same way we did with the Wonder Brow, starting towards the middle very lightly and dragging towards the tail. And since this has an angled brush, I feel like you can be more precise with it. Rather with the Wonder Brow, it's like a round tip so you can't really get a good edge on it. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the spoolie on here and brush this through. And I'm just going to clean up this side with concealer really quick and then we'll compare. Okay, so the brows are both on and I mean they are slightly different colors I feel like the physician's formula is slightly darker and I don't know if you can tell on camera but it kind of looks like it has a green undertone like very very slightly like I wouldn't say it's green but it has like that weird green undertone to it I don't know and the Wonder Brow, I feel, is more cool toned, but they're not, they're not that big of a difference. They're both set down, and they both feel the same. It just feels like I have hair gel in my brow. So the Physician's Formula is $9.99 on Ulta, and the Wonder Brow is $22 on Ulta, so this is over double the price of this. So obviously if you wanted a more affordable option, I would definitely go with this. I'm going to wear these throughout the day and see if they last the same amount of time. And then later I'm going to try to take them off with just water and show you their staying power because they both claim to be waterproof. And so I'll see you here in a little bit. And I'll just show you the swatches on the back of my hand, trying to rub them off. This is the Wonder Brow. Not really going nowhere. And this is the Physician's Formula. So both of them are staying put. They didn't budge at all. Let me show you with a makeup wipe. And this is just a micellar makeup wipe. Here is the Wonder Brow. Budged it a little bit, but it's still pretty much there. Here is the Physician's Formula. Pretty much the same thing. So they are performing the same so far on the back of my hand, but we will see how they do on my brows later. Okay guys, so it's been about five hours now since I put on that brow product, and I'll show you close up really quick. So here is the Physician's Formula, still on. All of the brow hairs are still exactly where I placed them. And here is the Wonder Brow side, still exactly how I put it on, not budged at all. And the brow hairs are laying down the same way I had them as before. So I really like both of these products so far. They wear exactly the same and the product seems to perform the same so far. I can only see subtle differences in the product so far and that would be just the packaging and the tone of the colors. So other than that, I feel like these are really close dupe, but I will check in again one more time at the end of the night. 
so we can try to take them off and see how budge proof they are. Okay guys, so it is the very end of the night and as you can probably tell, all of my makeup is off. I took a shower, I washed my face, I didn't put soap in my brows, but this is how they look after washing them with water. I didn't scrub them or anything, but as you can tell, they are pretty much still completely on there. Both the Physician's Formula and the Wonder Brow wore really nicely. After I got them wet, the brow hair is kind of shifted around a bit, but most of them are still in the same spot. And they pretty much wore exactly the same, so I'm definitely going to say that these are a dupe. And let's see if I can rub any off. Nope. Okay, and the Wonder Brow. I feel like that one rubbed off a little bit. But yeah, I hope this video helps in case you wanted to save a little bit of money. And I'll see you in my next video.